Hi, Suma Mala. How are you? Hi, Rakesh. I'm good. Thank you. What about you? I'm good too. Thank you. So, first of all, uh, many, many congratulations to you for getting a job. Right. So, how do you feel about getting a job during this time period? Uh, yeah, it, since uh, one month, I think I got the offer and uh, I just applied for, uh, uh, I mean, I'm not so actively looking, but from last uh, three months, I just want to have a switch. I uh, interviewed for three companies, three are also most well-known companies. Mm -hmm. So out of three, I was selected in two of them, but for one of them, I got location constraint. Uh, so that offer was re not, um, I mean, released at the last moment after completion of all of them. But for one of the uh, well-known company, I got a confirmation as well. So yeah. Okay, great, great. That, that's great news. So how did you come to know, how did you came to know that uh, there is a job opening in some XYZ company? Uh, yeah, I, I'm just uh, trying from LinkedIn and Naukuri as well. But uh, fortunately, I, my profile got shortlisted for, um, from Naukuri itself. No, uh, yeah. Based on, yeah, the role was basically they are looking for someone with um, Cypress uh, automation and JavaScript, any, any automation tool with uh, half of functional testing as well. Like a uh, person should be excellent in uh, functional testing as well as preferably one programming language and also one automation tool like Cypress or Selenium or anything and also API testing and some exposure to AWS as well. Yeah. That's great news. So were you updating your resume every day on Nokri.com or what tips you will give to the people who are looking for a job and who are trying from Nokri.com? Uh, initially, if they are actively looking, they I think they should update uh, every day twice. Uh, that's better because if you update your resume will be in the top uh, top of the search page recruiters can easily look and identify and also while updating your resume I think it's better to mention the skills as well uh, if you are familiar with this automation tools better to manage have them and if you have any backend knowledge or kind of any database exposure so mention everything uh, because these keywords are also ma mainly people are looking for someone with both functional and automation experience and also a API testing and yeah in testing domain I can say yeah absolutely so updating the resume twice in a day you think right should be a practice okay fine do you have a set of interview questions with you like uh, in yes, which yes. companies you are given the interviews if you can share your screen tell us the interview questions and what kind of answers could be given on a very high level you don't have to give oh, the answers sure. but just tell us the questions and answers so that the people who are watching this video, you know, sure, they can sure, also yes. give. Uh, just I'm um, uh, trying to share the screen. I yeah. just asked yes, you button. Green button, share screen button. Yeah. Uh, it's asking to quit and reopen because I installed Zoom for the first time. So my Mac is asking to quit and reopen. Okay, no worries. So what we will do is I'll share my screen. You just uh, tell mm -hmm. me the questions. And uh, no problem. Uh, I just leave and uh, can I join because I already noted all the questions. Uh, okay, okay. You. Yeah, yeah. You can leave and join. I'll, I'll just join. Sorry, within, within okay. a minute I'll join. No worries. Okay, yeah. Screen is uh, visible. Yes. Yeah. Correct, correct. Yeah. So the total uh, number of rounds that taken for me were only two rounds. Uh, the first one is completely technical round and second is a technical manager round. Mm -hmm. So the first. Yeah. Yeah. So in the first technical round, it's duration taken 45 minutes. Uh, so the common question, so role they were looking was functional testing and Cypress automation and API testing and agile. Mm -hmm. uh, so the first question is tell me about yourself. Uh, it's a common one. Uh, so they started, I mean, uh, it's a lady, I think the person, she just started from basics of uh, functional testing. Mm -hmm. So like uh, all the testing concepts, like she asked her what's the difference between smoke and sanity testing. And later, uh, come to like, how do you raise uh, a dip there's a difference between defect and bug, and just explanation on that high level, like a defect life, life cycle. Mm -hmm. So later, uh, it comes to like, uh, she asked me some scenarios for coffee making machine. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, uh, so I just uh, told them like what are the scenarios which I'm getting in my mind for coffee making machines. And then uh, after that, uh, she asked me about uh, an example of high priority and low severity kind of questions and low severity and high priority type of questions. Mm -hmm. uh, so up to five questions, uh, like she stopped the functional testing part and then she moved to API testing. Mm -hmm. um, she asked me whether like in which tools you have used for API testing. So I told her I'm comfortable with Postman mostly. So she asked me what's the difference between post and put. Mm -hmm. And after I say the answer, she asked me about put and patch also. Mm -hmm. um, and and uh, uh, based on my answer, she was again asking like uh, if there is no, uh, I mean, if there is no newly created record, then will uh, put able to create a new record or like that she asked some question based on my answer. Okay. Yeah. So uh, later she asked some of the status codes, like uh, what is 401 and how did, when did you encounter this? Uh, so I told like 401 is for unauthorized. It will get this when we did not pass the auth token or we did not provide the authentication in our API request. Mm -hmm. So later she asked me what is status code 400 and when did you encounter this? I told like it would be a bad request when we make some error in the payload or if you miss any mandatory fields like that. Mm -hmm. So she, she just asked me what is 404 and later she I was able to tell all, all the status codes and when it comes to 402, uh, I was I was just don't know what is 402, but uh, she told me like it's, it will be rarely used uh, by people in banking domain. You can just, uh, after the interview, you can look into it, <laughs> but okay. she left. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. So I think up to 12 questions, I think later uh, she told me to um, just share the screen and uh, she gave a program like uh, she gave an array of numbers like this. She told me each number represents a balloon here. So mm. you need to print the number of pairs in this particular uh, array. So mm. basically she asked me first you can uh, tell answer manually. So I, I told she asked me uh, you have to print only the number of pairs for here. So here if you see one, two, three, four, five, five, six, six two. Mm. Uh, so the pairs will be two, uh, two, five, and one, I think. So the repetitive ones. Okay, repeated one. Yeah. Uh, repetitive. So we have to print that count basically. So if the count is let's say we have three pairs, right? So we have to print the answer as three or uh, so she asked me to write a program. So I just written in uh, JS like um taking two for loops, I just try to match if there is any duplicate um, uh, duplicate element is found, I just to uh, increment, I just incremented the count. I have taken a separate count variable and I try to increment the count if I get a match. Right. Yeah, uh, after I think I have taken around five to six minutes to complete this program and then she told, yeah, it's fine, good, okay. Then she moved to the main uh, automation tool. She asked about Cypress uh, commands mm -hmm. and what are the different type of assertions we use in Cypress and uh, like how do you perform API testing with Cypress? And also she asked me, you could able to write a piece of code for sending a sample post request. So yeah. this one, uh, unfortunately, it's been a time I am using API testing with Cypress, so I, I was not able to write, but uh, she told that that's okay, no problem, <laughs> because I have anywhere written the program, so <laughs> she just, uh, that's fine, okay, she told, and she asked me some related to Cypress folder structure, and at last, I think, uh, she asked me, like, uh, how do you trigger your automation code, are you involved in any pipeline creation or something, uh, just I, I told her, uh, currently I did not involve, but DevOps team used to manage it, but I checked the pipelines once they are created mm -hmm. uh, so that completed the first round uh, so uh, before leaving only like she told okay i am almost happy with most of your answers she told and she just left okay uh, after uh, after one week i think uh, the second round was uh, scheduled mm -hmm. In the second round, uh, I think it's uh, some half of technical and managerial round um, from some of the senior person from the company. So he just started like, uh, like initially she asked like, how are you doing today? And uh, like, which state are you from? Like formally, she, he asked me this question. So mm -hmm. I just replied him. Then he came to the questions like, uh, tell me about your domain of the project and which domain you're working and what are the backend and front-end technologies you were used in the project. Mm -hmm. For example, if mine is an e-commerce app, so I used uh, 
so in our project we are using for front end we are using uh, react native for mobile apps uh, mm -hmm. and, and back end i told it's aws because it's completely cloud based one uh, then he told like uh, next question is something related to if you don't have any requirements in a project and you're a new member who joined recently then how do you approach this in testing uh, like uh, there are no requirements but you need to test the feature so how do you do uh like i, I just answered like we need to do some exploratory testing on that so like every right. question oh. yeah, every question i just taken five minutes to answer that dragged for a one hour almost yeah. oh, okay okay <laughs> and also you mentioned like you used the aws right how did you use it uh, because aws will be mostly used for developers like what did you do did in the aws so i just told our project is deployed in AWS. It's completely cloud. Uh, so I just, uh, they created any tables or if they do any configuration changes, I need to test them by logging into their uh, account and I'll see if the records are created properly or that web books, what they created, I'll test them using a postman. So I just told in that way. Then he gave me a scenario. Let's take an e-commerce app and you need to tell some high-level scenarios after a successful order placement. So once we place an order from the app, then we need to tell the scenarios. So I just told him after order placement, we will be getting, we have to check whether we are getting the order number properly or we are getting the uh, order placed message successfully. We will be getting an SMS to our email, registered email, registered mobile, and we'll be getting um, the email for our registered email ID. And it continued like that. And you need to get, you have to ensure that the order is successfully delivered to your location. I just okay. told six to seven scenarios. I told like uh, he's yeah. uh, fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. And next question is, uh, for example, let's say there is a spelling mistake in the description of about us. So that he told like there is a website and um, at the end of the website about us will be there. So there is some spelling mistake is there. So with which category this bug belongs to, he asked me. So I told uh, that would be mostly, I think, uh, low severity. That would be both mostly like low severity. Mm -hmm. uh, and low priority, I told. Then he told why low severity. I told because uh, most of the people might not go into that about us page. It's not mm -hmm. actually affecting the business of the application. So I told it might be low severity. Yes. So then he asked a question based on that. Let's say there is an add to cart. You are testing something in a mobile app. There is an add to cart. Instead of add to cart, you are getting add to cat. <laughs> So then he asked what is the severity and what like uh, the the interviewer is also kind of sense of humor and uh, very good communication so he's asking that kind of questions like instead of add to cart you get add to cart uh, so what's the severity then i told in this case it's going to confuse the customers uh, based yes. on that so i think it will be high priority one yeah. all right, all right. So, and next one is, he asked me, like, explain Scrum ceremonies in your project. I uh, started with spring planning, and, like, I explained all the four ceremonies up to retro. Mm -hmm. And then, after that, he asked me, for example, uh, there is an acceptance in the login, there's a login ticket is there. There is, in that uh, acceptance, uh, we have only valid password, valid uh, use I mean, valid username, valid password, invalid uh, username, invalid password. Mm -hmm. Only that's why acceptance criteria are there. But let's say it's also allowing blank password. Mm -hmm. It's allowing blank password. And you caught that defect. But developer is saying, I just implemented according to acceptance. And in this case, how do you approach? Like, will yes. you sign off? Or uh, like, how will you convey uh, this is a defect? Right. Developer is not accepting. He's saying, I, I just implemented according to acceptance. In acceptance, it's not there. Mm -hmm. So for this question, I need to think, like I, I told, uh, uh, so I just think for some time I told, uh, if he's not accepting also, it, it would be definitely a defect and it will be risk to sign off. So um, I'll just uh, communicate this in the scrum calls and I'll just uh, try to raise a defect on this. And I I will just coordinate with the BAs and to update the acceptance of the criteria of the ticket and right. then I'll yeah so this yes. is it's like an approach. That's the correct so, answer. You will be coordinating with the business analyst and you will be making sure that that is 
changed. Mm. And also in this year, he also added the release is next day only. Okay. So even in pressure, in pressure will you sign off or uh, will you just hold up the release? So I, I told uh, we can't uh, sign it up even though in pressure because that's a high priority and high severity one. Mm. True, true. No, no, correct, correct. Yeah. And uh, at last, I think uh, he told me, if you got selected, are you comfortable in doing both manual and automation testing or do you prefer only automation, uh, this kind of question came So I told in my current company also, I'm doing both. So I'm happy to do both. That's fine. Okay. That ended up. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, uh, Rakesh, these are some of the questions which are uh, asked in other companies, like other two companies which I attended. I just noted apart from functional testing, there are I noted the automation and programming related, like difference mm -hmm. between Selenium and Cypress in terms of architecture and which one do you recommend according to your opinion? Right. Uh, we need to just explain from architectural level how the Selenium and Cypress work. Like. Yeah, it's, it's, it's. And other one is difference between monolithic and microservices architecture. And from programming point of view, these were the questions asked in technical round. Like given a string, we need to print the occurrence of each character of the string. Mm, for example, if we have a string, uh, say, like how, how many times the each character is occurring in that string. And there are also other uh, programs like write a program to remove duplicates in an array and export of a table cell. Hello. Hello. Yes. 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 Uh, you are yes, audible. Yes, yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, like uh, he, he, they asked some of the questions related to remove duplicates in an array and uh, like uh, find X path of a particular table cell and extract a substring out of the main string. And some of other questions are like uh, difference between git pull and git fetch. What is page object model and its advantages? And what is the framework to use in automation? And what is definition of done in agile? And other question also, I this SDLC and uh, Scrum ceremonies related question I, I got in every interview. They were asking like, what, which SDLC model do you follow? And why do you think agile model is helpful? Uh, do you think like agile model is also creating unrealistic pressure for story completion? Like that, uh, some questions they ask related to agile. Yeah. Right, right. So these are the question list. So can you please uh, email this list to me after this? Sure, uh, sure, sure. Sure, sure. I can email you. Yeah. Okay. So I think uh, we are good. Uh, you can stop sharing your screen. Yes, yes. Sir. Yeah. So can you tell us something about the hike, the package raise that you have got in uh, uh, your company in the terms of percentage or in the terms of range? Yeah, so actually based on my experience, I think in my current company also I'm getting like up to market standard uh, for seven years experience. So, but I got 30% hike from 30 the current. Okay, great, great. And also there is a joining bonus as well apart from that. Okay, great. Yeah. So thank you so much, uh, Sumavali, for coming on weekend and sharing your success story with us. I'm sure this will be very much helpful to the community. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Rakesh, for your... Uh, actually, I thought to connect with you since time. So I am really thankful for giving me this opportunity because I thought at least someone who is uh, actually looking for the job may help. Uh, these questions may help them. Uh, yeah. Yes, it's definitely a lot.